Hi, my name is Tony and today I'm going to teach you how to make a simple yet very stylish pair of flip-flops. Just like these ones. Because summer is coming and because you were very disappointed with the last season of Game of Thrones. I mean, what the fuck was that? Seriously now. Can we get a do-over? Anyway, before we start, I wanted to say this pattern will be available in all sizes and it will be free for all my YouTube channel members. The pattern will also be available in my shop for everyone else. And uh, next I will run a quick four minute video to show you exactly how to download the pattern print it correctly, punch the stitching holes, and cut the leather.
right about now you should have everything you need to get going. But before you start stitching, let me get in a little bit more detail on how to make the soles and in particular how to hide the stitching underneath. Like I said, I used 4mm hard rubber made specially for shoes, but you can go ahead and use whatever you have available. Even some uh, very tough leather will work or a pair of oversized flip-flops who would happily give their life so you can turn them into this. After you find the right material, go ahead and stick the paper pattern to it. After you do, use a needle or an owl to mark the holes. Only punch the holes around the heel where the stitching won't be exposed. Now use the same method for the heel rubber pieces as well. Next, cut the sole out. Now Use a stitching grooving tool to dig a small groove or small ditch inside the material you use, no matter if it is rubber or leather. You can very well complete your build without doing this, but if you decide to drag your feet over a hard surface, the stitching may come off. Anyway, now use the markings you made earlier and punch the rest of the holes inside that very small groove you've just made. Time for the first stitch and it is important you start with this one here, like I'm going to do next.
see how the thread is completely hidden and has no contact with the ground. Once you've finished this first line, set your sole down for a minute and grab the two pieces that make the insoles. Stitch these together next. If you want, you can apply some glue between them. I didn't because reasons. Don't mind me, do whatever you want. Unless you're married, then you have to do as you told. Now we can attach the two pieces together and this time I will also use glue. Continue stitching along the back of the heel, right here. Next, start stitching towards the front of the sole, but don't forget, we will have to insert these couple of straps here. All I want is... 
all alone, don't, 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 looking down your phone. I used markings on the paper pattern to make sure I attach them at the right spot. You can also count the holes between the straps using the PDF file. Just make sure you are looking at the same size you're working with. The straps will also be marked with numbers so you know to attach them where they belong. Pay very close attention or else I see a lot of profanities, I see a lot of unstitching in your future and you don't want that. Keep it up one more minute. Keep it up, you're so great. Standing and talking, you got me checkmate. No one's watching or nothing. I have cleared out the room, also so that you can get to be the big spoon. <laughs>
Well, it looks like you are done. Congratulations. Go grab a coffee or a wee cup of tea and then carry on. That was it. Tony once again making things easy for you. You are welcome. And thank you as well for watching. Oh, remember to subscribe. It's free, who cares? You watched this far. 30 minutes of your life gone. What's another two seconds?